The SIGFOX protocol is light, extremely light. The network flow is just that simple. Let's follow a message. So the object has something to report. It will just create radio signals to send its message. This signal will get to the base stations listening to the SIGFOX frequency and the message will be retrieved, checked and then passed to the SIGFOX cloud. The cloud will authenticate the sender, check the action associated with this ID, then report the message to the customer. Sending uplink messages through the SIGFOX network is that simple. You might think that's the same process with all radio systems. When a radio system wants to communicate, it should just send its signal. But conventional radio systems are quite complex. Whatever communication has to be done, it involves numbers of hidden negotiations between recipient and sender before the real message is sent. For example, association to elect the receiver channel reservation, speed negotiation, frequency selection. This is very handy for long messages, but for very small messages, such as IoT messages, it soon becomes highly inefficient. For bi-directional messages, there's a major difference. Customers cannot contact their object directly. The communication is always initiated by the object. The flow can be described as follows. The object can request a downlink message whenever it sends a message. If a downlink has been requested, when the message arrives at the customer's server, the customer can reply to this message. If the customer has replied, the reply message, so-called the downlink message, is forwarded to the object by the SIGFOX network. At this time, the object will be listening and waiting for incoming messages. Having the reception controlled by the object itself has some drawbacks. The main one being the inability to communicate directly with the object whenever the customer wants to. But it also has great benefits. The first and most obvious one is object autonomy because listening is not energy free. The second benefit is a certain security robustness. When objects have their ears closed, they can't listen to anything that might be sent by a hacker. The fact that the objects choose when to communicate is protecting them from a hacker sending them a misplaced, unattended command.